Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I know I said I was going to be releasing some more PoE content, but literally the day I made that solo self found video, a new MMO went into closed beta. So I'm going to be covering both of them. So expect to see that over the next week. Um, so this is a new game called, I believe it's Critica Online, uh, being published by Enmas Entertainment, I believe it is, who are the same publishers for Terra. Uh, which is pretty cool. Terra was actually the game I started streaming on, so I kind of had to check it out, you know? Um, so I believe, I haven't actually played this game yet, I believe this is kind of like a Vindictus style, um, hack and slash, instance-based RPG, MMORPG, if you guys are familiar with that. So I want to go ahead and check some of this stuff out. Now, please note that this is in the beta. Um, I don't really know anything about the game yet, so I want to go ahead and first show you guys the classes that they currently have. So, don't mind the art style, it looks really blurry for right now, I don't really know why, it's a lot better in game. But we've got the Warrior, the Rogue, uh, the Gun Mage, and the Reaper. And each class has subclasses, this is the most sexy by the way, but uh, we've got the Vamp, which uses Blood Arts to absorb HP from foes, then discharge it in a massive display of power. Without MP limits, the Vamp has unmatched battle endurance. This is actually a character I wanted to play, but I'm sure it's going to be overplayed, so I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, then there's the Valkyrie, which is actually the character I want to try out. Dual style of Scythe, uh, and chain exploits weakness and control the battle. That sounded really weird for some reason. The Valkyrie is a master of brawling in close quarters and containing foes at range. Next up, I'm going to go to the Gun Mage, and we have... Frost Mage, Shadow Mage, and Warp Mage. This actually sounds fucking cool as hell, Warp Mage. Uh, Frost Mages freeze their enemies in place that unleash potent ice attacks to finish the job. Shadow Mage, uh, let's see, Shadow Mages manipulate dark energies to battle their foes. They can fight in close quarters with melee attacks. Warp Mage, manipulate time and space to control the enemies. Rip the fabric of reality, destroy your targets, and protect yourself from harm. Next up is going to be the Rogue, which has Cat's Paw, Assassin, and Wolf Guardian. Like a cat, she specializes in leaps, kicks, and savage claw attacks. No one is better at striking from behind to deadly effect. Assassin would be her blades fly through the air faster than the eye can see. Shadow doubles help. Wait, shadow doubles help. Shadow doubles help her get close enough to poison her foes. Okay. Wolf Guardian, she calls the power of co-op play, Kappa. Uh, <laughs> the power of thunder and lightning to summon a spirit wolf to fight at her side. It's kind of a lame description. Warrior has, let's see, Fire Lord, Doom Blade, and Berserker. So Fire Lord armed with a burning gauntlet, the Fire Lord channels the power of the Inferno in battle. Doom Blade sounds really cool. The Soul Sword grants the, the warrior the power to strike with furious speed and hurl deadly ranged attacks. This is another character I might try out. And the Berserker. Holy shit, did you see that jump? <laughs> the Berserker knocks down or drives back his enemies with powerful charges and wild assaults. So I had a character, I haven't done anything, I just made it and kind of just started the video. So I'm currently playing a Reaper. As you can see, uh, this is exactly what my uh, dream girl would look like. I decided to uh, design her around this character. So uh, let's go ahead and see, I think I'm supposed to be, I'm going to follow this arrow. So far everything seems pretty smooth. Um, in terms of like, I guess you could say uh, FPS, the game looks great. Uh, I'm not really lagging, I can twirl my camera. I'm at near max settings, I believe, for everything. All right, let's see what we got here. Roshan Road, difficulty easy. Uh, all right, let's start. So this does seem exactly like Vindictus as of right now, where you go in and it's immediately instanced combat, which I don't mind as like a side game, I think it's fun. So you got WASD movement, a space, a shift, gonna be a roll. Oh, it's a dash. Do I have like a stamina bar? I do. Okay, there's the cooldown. I see it right there. Avoid the log by the jump key. Attack using the attack button. What do these keybinds do? Oh. It's pretty smooth so far. What do these keybinds do? Uh, heart stopper inflicts bleed. You may use the skill twice in quick succession before it goes on cooldown thrice if vamp. Blade dance, let's see, enemies movement is reduced. Enemies struck are pulled. And if Valkyrie blade 
Blade stance, dash forward a short distance, slash of enemies. Okay. Let me try this pull. How far range is this? Oh, that's not very far range. Oh, wait, is it telling me what to do? Four, four, two, one, three, four. All right, let's try it. Four. That didn't work. Two, one, three, four. Oh, that's an OP combo. I hope there's a way to zoom your character out or your camera out more. That's one thing I want to look at. I feel like I'm way too zoomed in. Boss encounter? Okay. Hey, Mr. Boss. How you doing, buddy? Is that 20 health bars? In a tutorial boss? Oh, he gets fucking destroyed. So I guess this game is based around permastunning? Oh, it looks like back attacks. You get bonus damage as well. Alright, looks like we got our typical card loot. Uh, so let's guess uh, two. Overly twank or overly swanky tarnished dagger feels not my class, man. All right, how do I leave? Kappa. Oh, proceed to next instance F3. I did level though. I want to see what this level up does. Hit Control to show or hide your cursor. Okay. Is there um C? What is this buff? Attack speed ten percent, movement speed ten percent, level one. Is this my level up? Skills, okay, so we have Reaper basic skills, burst charge, basic mastery, dash, okay, this is a new skill, sinister pulse. You may select an advanced class at level 15, okay. Burst charge, this skill destroys an enemy's ultra status, making them vulnerable. You neither take damage nor are interrupted from enemy attacks. This is pretty cool. I actually do want to jump in and, and learn a little bit more about this game because it seems like it seems like there's a bit of I'm gonna hope customization. Um, I guess let's try out this sinister pulse. This is a new skill, right? Apply. All skill points will be refunded during your class change. So I guess the advanced class is when you class change. Okay. You recover some HP? Yo! I feel like I turned, I even turned down the, the settings and I feel like it's still like way too loud. I think it'd be cool to see a health bar above target's heads, but I don't think they'll do that because like almost everything in this game seems to have like multiple health bars. I think that, you know what I really like so far? The dash is extremely smooth. Like I can, I can for example, hit this guy, dash back and then re-combo. That's, I think that's really cool. I do fear that this game may be a little bit potentially pay to win as most instance games uh, may be. And I'm looking over here that there is a, there is a VIP membership up at the top here. Monster XP bonus, Extra reset points, bonus resurrection stone, additional danger zone clearance. I don't know. I don't really mind a subscription in a game, though. I'll be completely honest. Like, if you have to pay a subscription to be even with everyone, that's fine. The problem is when you have a subscription and, like, an unlimited cash shop for upgrading items, that's when I think it becomes a bit too much. But we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll be checking this game out today on stream. We got another big boy. Oh, whoops. 
Alright, time to get perma stunned. Oh, he didn't get stunned. No, I think he's perma stunned again. I hopefully some bosses later on have like stun reduction or something, because uh, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of odd just stun locking everything. <laughs> it is still like the tutorial though, so I guess that's understandable. Fantastic. Ooh, a scythe. Ooh, a scythe. Give me it. All right, we're gambling two again. What is that? A treasure bag. Alright, return town. Do I have to actually pick this up or do I just walk over it? Okay, just walk over it. We got a, a mech dude being PJ Salt here. What's with the dated graphics? That's kind of odd. I'm just gonna skip this. If an enemy immobilizes you in combat, you can often shake free by rapidly pressing A and D. What? That's pretty OP. I don't wanna enter. No, no, no. I don't wanna enter. I don't wanna enter. Alright, cool. Um, looks like I've got things to upgrade here. It doesn't look like I can see what the bonus is when I upgrade them, which is kind of odd. Uh, but I do get a free respec, so that's okay. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over, um, I just wanted to go over this game so far. It looks pretty okay. It looks pretty smooth. Who knows what's going to happen at Endgame. We'll figure that out as we go on. But anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can find some... Probably you can find some beta keys floating around here and there. Uh, if I get some additional ones, I'll be more than happy to give some away during the live stream. If you like the video, like I said, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.